Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 41 in chapter 26. Chapter 26 is about DC circuits. There, we have this uh, circuits. Looks very complicated, but we can do it together. Let's say, first one, we need to determine the net resistance between point A and C. You can see, if we connect A and C in a circuit, all the resistors will involved, right? So if we connect A and C with a battery, EMF is Y. So all the resistors will include. And then we can solve it by using Kirchhoff's loops. First one, we look at the bottom loop. This is the Y. This battery goes this way, increase the voltages, right? And then goes through the resistor goes through the resistor R, the voltage decreases I3 times R, and then equal to zero, come back to the origin point, this one, agree? Then we look at ADB, ADB, so this way, right, first one, the current goes through this R, voltage decreases, so minus I1R, and then minus I5R, and then plus I2R, because this current is in opposite direction with this loop. So this one, we get it. Then we look at the loop A, B, C, this way, right? So we can see the current goes through the resistor R, voltage decreases, goes through this R, voltage decreases, and then goes through this R, increases, because the current I3 and the loop in opposite direction, so we can write it there. Then we look at D, B, C. D, B, C, that means this loop, right? So we can see initially the current goes through this R voltage decreases, goes through this R decreases, and it goes through the I4. You can see this I4 is opposite direction with the loop decreases, so plus I4 times the R plus equal to zero, right? Then we can look at the point A, and then we can see the current in is conserved. So the R equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. Then we look at the point D, that is the current conserved I1 equal to I5 plus the I4. Then we look at the current B, that is the I6 equal to I2 plus I5, right? Then you can see we can solve these uh, equations, these multiple equations together. As we can see, I3 equal to Y divided by R, right? So we input I3 inside. We can see it looks like this way, right? So we use this uh, equation to replace the I3, and so this one changes. Now you can see the next one, we can remove, we can Organize these uh, equations, remove the R, right? Remove the R to make it more simplified. So this way, it looks like this way, right? Now you can see in the equations there, we have I5 or I6, something like that. One thing is we can remove the I6, right? So we remove I6 as I2 plus I5. I2 plus I5, we put it in, remove it. And then we can organize it to make it more simple. So this is become 2 times I2 plus I5, right? Agree? Agree? Yeah. So this way, right? And then we input I5 as I1 minus I4, put it inside. You can see the equations look like this way, right? So organize it. And then we use the I1 and I2 to replace I4. So this one, it looks like this one. And then you can see we have three equations, I1, I2, and I. And then we can solve them together, right? So we use the I2 to replace I1, look like, looks like this one, and then so come to there. In this equation, you can see uh, the variables is just I2. So we can solve it, get I2 equal to this function. And then in this uh, function I, it is a function of I2, right? So 
after we simplified, we find i equal to 4 times i2, right? Yes. And then we can say i2 is get, it looks like i is get because it's just a 4 times i2. Now, can you get the equivalent resistance between A and C? Yes, because we get this current I, right? So the equivalent, equi equivalent resistance is just the epsilon divided by I, and I is found there. So if we input this I inside, we can get the equivalent resistance R. The next one, we need to find equivalent resistance between A and B. Between A and B. You can see if we consider the uh, equivalent resistance between A and B, the current will not go through this resistance. Because we see the current is very lazy, it always chooses the easiest way to go, right? You can see it can go this way, A to D to B, A to B, and A to C to B. But this one, too much. So we can just uh, remove it. And then we look at the circuit, simplified circuit. This is just uh, the parallel connection, right? From this uh, 2R with R with 2R. So equivalent resistance is so easy. Just as a parallel connection for 2R, R, and 2R, we get the answer there. Thank you.